the center of attraction at 106th Indian Science Congress organized in Jalandhar, Punjab was a driverless solar-powered bus which has been developed by this scientists and students of lovely professional university. Nearly 300 students of three departments of the university besides the scientists had started working on this project way back in 2014, but it was completed in 2018. The bus is fitted with solar panels which partially cover its body. It is a solar powered driverless car. We thought of an uh, idea like we have to manufacture a bus which is totally independent of the fuel system. Either it is uh, petrol or either it is uh, electricity. So we mounted solar cells everywhere in a pattern like it can sense, it can generate electricity from any angle of the sun and it can power the batteries. The electricity generated through these panels is stored in a battery which drives the engine. This driverless bus can run up to 70 km after a single charge and the maximum speed limit of this vehicle is 30 km per hour. India's first driverless bus is not only a solar power driven bus but is in fact a smart bus which works on wireless signals intercepted by ultrasonic and infrared sensors which also control the brake system of this bus. The bus is also fitted with GPS and Bluetooth devices which can control the bus from a radius of 10 meters. One will be required to download an app to board this bus which will automatically stop at the location from where it was hired. Bus, uh, driving on the solar uh, panels, so when there is an obstacle on the road, it will stop automatically and give a warning at the distance, at some distance. After 5 meters, it will stop automatically and prevent from any accidents. The safety equipments and lower speed limit of this bus will also bring down the number of road accidents in India which recorded highest number of road accident deaths in the world. The sensors fitted in the driverless bus stop it 5 meters before it notice any obstacle on the road. Uh, I was the programmer of the microprocessor that is installed in the bus. It controls the bus and it can be programmed to fully control the bus also. It uh, runs on some image processing as you can see. There's a camera installed on the top of the bus and uh, it can make decisions by its own. Like uh, if we select some kind of destination where we need to go, we can select that destination and uh, the bus will automatically move to that place. And uh, it will also detect obstacles based on the process of image recognition. Through that, it will, if it detects some kind of obstacles, बॉडी जो है हमने सबसे नॉर्मल मटेरियल इसमें यूज़ किया है लाइक हम बोल सकते हैं एल्युमिनियम का कई जगह यूज़ किया गया है सबसे पहले हमने इसको सॉफ्टवेयर पे डिजाइन किया कैड मॉडलिंग करी इसके ठीक है एंड देन इसको पीवीसी पाइप से हमने इसको बनाया था सबसे पहले उसके बाद इसका एनालाइज किया देन सबसे जो परफेक्ट मटेरियल यूज करना था देन वो हमने लगाया The estimated cost of this bus is 6 lakh Indian rupees and it can be used at airports where there are well-maintained roads, efforts are on to produce driverless buses for common Indian roads.